Ladies and gentlemen, in this country we are facing a significant shortage of helium. And no, not the helium that you put in your party balloons, but rather the helium that is used in medical imaging, in cryogenics, in fusion research, and more importantly, in radiation detection devices. That means that without a steady supply of helium-free, we have no way of detecting the nuclear and radioactive material that goes in and out of our country and around the world. And it is for this reason that the federal government has named this one of the top national security issues that our country is facing today. And because of that, we see the demand for tritium and the demand for helium-3 increasing, and consequently, our stockpile decreasing, because our current methods of supply cannot keep up with the demand. This is the atom that we are trying to create. And it is not found very often naturally. It is 0.0001% of all the helium found on Earth. And this means that we need to be able to artificially create it. And while it is very difficult to create it directly, we can indirectly create it by creating tritium and having it beta decay into helium-3. That reaction is this. Neutron absorption into lithium-6, and that would create a tritium atom and a helium-4 atom with a cross-section of 950 barns. And this is the assembly that can do it. It is a 1 meter by 1 meter cylinder with a neutron generator in the center surrounded by, first, a solid graphite moderator and then a blanket of, of lithium-6. And that, this assembly and the rest of its implications are the main focus of this presentation.